Zone B captured. You have advanced. Three minutes. You're winning. Stay strong. Two for one. You're almost there. Okay, so I managed to snag the new Titan exotic leg piece. It's the Path of the Burning Steps. It has an armor perk called Firewalker. Solar final blows periodically grant you an escalating bonus to weapon damage. You are harder to slow or freeze with stasis, and when you break out, you take no damage from doing so, creating a burst of solar energy around yourself. So there's obviously kind of two sides to this, and I'm about to put together a video and go test it myself and find out how efficient this survivability with stasis is going to be in Crucible, and also see how many stacks and scaling damage we can get from the main part of the solar final blows. So for my initial first impressions and experiences with this thing, I noticed that there was something that is possibly bugged or something that just simply does not add up to me. You can generate up to Firewalker times four. So you can build up four stacks, but you only ever see two increments of improved damage throughout this course. And I thought it very weird. So for example, if you're watching and seeing the values, you'll notice that we can generate you know, one, two, three, four stacks of Firewalker, but you only ever see the damage change about once when you're not including drop-off. So initially, without any stacks, I hit for 2,490 with this gun. At around stack two, I hit for 3,113. This was a major increase. This is about a 20% increase in damage just going into Firewalker 2. And then I saw no other real upgrade until generally I was around Firewalker 4, where it went up about another 10%, finally at 3,362 capping. Now, what I did learn is that as long as I can keep this streak alive and I have this 10 second streak, I can continuously refresh Firewalker 4. So if you have the right type of elemental weapon, which are the fire types, you can go through and keep this stack up and keep this about 30, 35% increased damage up relatively throughout the entire combat system of a fight. And I think this is a great thing and this can be very valuable with certain guns. I mean, there's a lot of popular weapons out there. The Yoten, the Fell Winners for PvP, the Trustee, a stars in shadow what other options a matchbook could get really interesting and i want to see and test that in the future but so far this is actually fairly promising if you can keep it with permanent uptime as for the second portion of this firewalker perk you are supposed to have increased resistance and survivability from stasis assault and i wanted to go ahead and test that so i went in here and let him hit me with a bunch of different abilities now i want you to pay attention to one thing on the left side of your screen i was just frozen that gave me Firewalker times two. So I have increased damage and I'm able to pop out of there also doing a flame burst, which is again, a part of that exotic perk. So this is a very promising kind of recovery or rebound option because that Firewalker is going to give you a bit more damage to kind of turn around. And if it translate like it does in PVE to PVP, my guns are apparently going to hit 20% harder just being frozen and coming out of it. So not only do I not take damage popping out of freeze, not only do I get the 20% increase to damage, but also it has that solar burst in case that is a proximity situation as well. And they're trying to push up on me. And I think that's a great asset too. So this kind of gives you a little bit better chance to survive those frozen situations than you would normally have. And I find it very valuable. To go even further, I did some testing in Crucible and had him help me out with a variety of other ones. Um, the one big change that I'm going to notice through this is the effect of slow. Now, slow did still feel very limited I'm not sure if I necessarily move any faster inside of it. More testing will be necessary. But as my first impression is, I can no longer be frozen inside of Duskfield Grenades or even the Hunter Tornado. When they cast that ult at me, it doesn't freeze me. But I'm still quite slow and can't outrun it. I'm going to die anyways. But it's still a very interesting system to know that this is kind of just having it equipped a counter to Duskfield Grenades. You can realistically survive that. Not to mention the moment you're hit with stasis, you're granted some of the firewalker damage and i believe you go up to just tier one when you're hit with a dusk field or you're simply slowed and it goes to tier two when you are frozen and that is what i have picked up on this now there's some really interesting combinations for the pve side of things for example you can run a sunbreaker and uh, the flame kills from that generate the firewalker stacks you can use combinations from things you can look at tommy matchbook for maybe better clear or the right combination of things for some of the lost sectors or if you're hunting down specific exotics and there's room for this to flourish though i don't think it's going to be one of those pieces that somebody has on at all times when i was using my xenophage for example i went from hitting 36k a shot to 50,000. so 
there is some sizable increases there and they are going to matter with the right builds in the right situation and again there are a lot of very popular in-game weapons that built around the igneous is 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 key in the meta right now right you got the fell winners as well you know no matter what you're using there's something for pvp in there the trustees great stars and shadows great for pve there's a lot of other viable options as well uh, honestly well-rounded in between the heavy weapon slot and the special weapon slot or the secondary slot you probably have more viable uh solar options in this game for pve than anything else so you have a very large library and archive of weapons to choose from now for the pvp side of things this is where things get really interesting now through the testing as you saw earlier there was a wide variety of experiences from just being inflicted with stasis it's almost like activating a trap card if you will so basically if somebody wants to throw the shuriken at me like a hunter for example wants to tag me with that that is going to buff me to a level that i can two tap them with the 120 hand cannon I've had a couple of the buddies kind of experience the same thing that I did where they don't really get any damage buff until they have at least two stacks and this doesn't work for me and I'm not sure why but I'm assuming this is some sort of a bug it works for some and not for others yet so it's not necessarily something you're going to be able to generate stacks with because for me to get firewalker working I needed a double kill and then obviously it's going to make me a little bit more potent it's definitely got a place in the meta and in the right hands it could be almost like having a rampage on the right kind of guns and could really make a difference but again it's a little slower it's not just activated on a hit or even a single kill it requires two but when you are attacked it activates firewalker if you are hit with shurikens or dusk field grenade or just any type of stasis in general and you are not frozen and you are able to still fire back you are now a lot stronger so it gives you like a buffer so yes you are kind of caught but at least now you're going to be stronger and with the right weapons at your disposal, you could probably return fire and have a better chance of surviving and winning that despite being frozen or slowed. And that's probably going to be a big fan favorite for for the PvP players, people in trials and just in general. I know that this is probably going to be the main thing that I use inside of PvP. I'm a big fan of Doom Marchers and PvE and man, this is going to be kind of interesting i can't wait to see the tables turn so that is what this thing is like i said this is going to be absolutely amazing for pvp because of the defensive perks because it is a counter to stasis and it does give a decent amount of dps and again for sustained dps constant dps this could be really great for clears or the right type of activity for pve and just constant wave of damage and it's pretty promising and it's interesting to see a piece of exotic armor that gives you both offensive and defensive things and they work well and in different ways for the right type of activity so thanks again for watching the video subscribe if you're new here we got more content coming soon appreciate you clicking on this one enjoy